So about a year ago, I made a video, or I should say this video, about how I was going to do something crazy. I was going to do something insane. Uh, okay, so it wasn't really that bad, but really what I was going to do was something that didn't make a lot of sense to a lot of people because, well, I'm weird that way. So I have this pet peeve. Basically, I don't want to see a dot .file. Now, I understand dot .files are hidden by default. That's why they're called dot .files. There's a whole thing there. And I and in the comments of that video that I just showed you, and I'll link it in the video description because you'll need to have it for some context if you want to know exactly what I'm talking about. Basically, the whole comment section was filled with people. Well, it's a, they're dot .files. They're not just use ls the right way. That's what a lot of people were saying. If you use ls without showing the dot .files, you won't ever see the dot .files. Therefore, your home directory will be clean. It won't, actually. You'll just not see the mess. But that's beside the point. Anyways, a year ago, I made this whole video basically saying that I was going to create myself a second home directory. I was basically going to use a second home directory for all of my personal documentation, personal stuff. And the regular actual XDG home directory would remain and just be where all of the stuff and detritus and stuff would fall where it needed to be. I just would never see it. I'd never use it. All of my documents and downloads and music and stuff would be my own home directory where I would spend all of my time. And there were two responses to that video. Like I said, part of it was, Matt, just learn how to use ls correctly and you'll never see the dot files. The other one was like, you're never going to last at this. You're just going to go back to using the regular home directory. And to that I say, no, I am still here a year later. So let me actually show you my home directory. This is, this is exactly what it looks like right here. That's it. There's nothing there. If I do ls, if I do ls-a like so, you'll see that's all there is. There's no hidden files whatsoever. Now, if I go up a level like so and do ls like so, you can see that there's a bunch of hidden files there. That right there is the xdg home directory. I don't use it. Every time I press cd, it actually takes me to my custom m home, which is what I call my home, Matt home, Matt home, I suppose. Anyways, if it, like, ls just there's nothing else here. That's all I use. I have two next cloud directories, pictures, templates, videos. The Vivaldi captures thing just will not stop appearing here no matter how many times I delete it. So it's there. Uh, desktop documents, downloads, music, things like that. The stuff you normally find in your home directory, but without all of the crazy dot files that appear every time you do an LS. Now, most people when they do an LS don't have an alias of this, which is what I do. I always have ls do ls-a because I want to see everything when ls works. And I understand that, again, that's not what everybody does, but it's what I did, which means I was always seeing this stuff. And that it's not that that stuff, I mean, first off, that stuff, this is actually a pretty clean home directory for me. Nor normally, or at least when I made that video, it was way worse. So there's that, but also it hides the stuff that you're probably always looking for, right? So your documents or your downloads folder is going to be blended in here alphabetically with all the rest of the stuff, even in between your regularly scheduled dot files, right? So it's kind of all blended together and I hated that. So I've been doing this. Now what I thought I would do today is just kind of talk about how this has worked because when I first started this, I wasn't too sure on how I would do it. I had some things set up, but some things have also changed. So, so for exa example, when I press CD, I always go here, but I can still see it to downloads or whatever, like so, and it will just take me to my actual downloads folder. And I can do that from anywhere thanks to Zoxide, which I'll talk more about here in a second. I've all also made a video about that. But the whole point is that when I do CD, it will take me to my home and not the other home. In order, and I did that by writing a function in my bash rc file. So basically what this does is that if there's no argument provided to cd, it'll take me to my home directory, my home directory, or it'll take me to the default zoxide function. Now, the one that I used before was actually this one here and it was much more simple because I didn't use zoxide. So basically, again, this just used the cd built in to take me home when there was no argument. If there was an argument, it would take me, it would use the CD built in to take me to that place. So it allowed me to use CD like I normally would, but without having to 
do anything special to get to my actual home directory. And I was able to use that basic same function, that same idea for when I switched to Zoxide. Now, Zoxide is really cool for this whole setup because I can be wherever I want. So let's just say I'm in pictures, right? So this is my pictures folder and say I wanted to go to my configuration folder. So I can just do CD dot config and it'll actually take me to my dot config, even though I wasn't technically anywhere near my dot configuration file. Now I made a whole video about Zoxide. I don't have to make any more of it, but by using Zoxide, I can get back to wherever I want, no matter where I am. And that has made this using an alternative home directory even easier because I can move around much easier, right? So there's that. Also, there's this, there's something special. And I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just a nerd. Always possible. But maybe I'm just a nerd. But I love having a home directory when I do an LS that looks like this. Right? There's what, 10 directories there or something like that, there's whatever. There's no hidden hidden files, no, nothing like that, nothing crazy. They're just a bunch of directories. There, there's not even any actual files there, there's just directories. It's very clean, it's very minimal. And there's something special about that. There's something said for doing that type of thing that just makes things easier to use. Now, I don't know if, again, if that's just me. It just works really, really well. And I'm so happy with this. I've put it on every computer that I have. I can no longer use Linux without this setup. It's odd. I will admit that I don't think that this is for everyone. I don't think that the vast majority of people care. Even if you are a termite nut like I am, you probably don't care about this. Like you, you, maybe you have looked at your home directory and saw all those dot files and like, eh, I really don't like that, but what are you going to do, right? That's just the way developers have learned to do stuff. They just shove everything in the home directory and it pisses me off, but you know, for the most part, you can't get things to change. So you just live with it. And that's what the vast majority of people do. And they just, you know, either not, they don't look at them, look at the dot files or whatever. They ignore the problem and that's fine but I needed a solution. And since I've switched to it, I can't say that I'm more productive or any of that stuff. So I can't tell you that there's some beneficial, you know, thing for doing this, but mentally for me, at least it has just been awesome. And it's just one of those things where it doesn't feel like it does anything for you, but it makes you feel good. So I highly recommend if you are interested in this type of thing. And also I have no clue why my camera won't stay in focus. Stop that camera. Autofocus is off, so it's, there should be no autofocusing. Calm down, Matt. It's fine. But anyways, I highly recommend if you're interested in doing this for yourself, watching the video that I'll link below or put in the, I'll put up in the cards as well. You can watch that, see how I did this, and do it for yourself. Because it really, like I said, it really does make your terminal workflow just a little bit better. So that's it for this one. Just a little bit of an update on my this minuscule part of my workflow i thought i'd share hello unfocused matt again hello stop that bullshit, you piece of crap camera <laughs> anyways if you want to follow me you can do so on mass on odyssey if you want to support me and help me buy a new camera this year you can support me on patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast i'd really appreciate it because obviously if there's something about this one uh, anyways, thank you for your support. Thanks to everyone who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channel just would not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very much for your support. If you would like to support me on Patreon, patreon.com slash the Linux cast slash the Linux cast. You can also support me on Patreon or Ko-fi and YouTube. Those links will be in the video description or you can head on over to the store, which is available at shop.thelinuxcast.org. There you'll find all sorts of merch. All the sales for that go directly towards me buying a new camera, which is probably a good idea. So there you go. Thanks everybody for your support. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.